everybody, welcome back to the Metal Scrapper channel. Today I will continue building my shed. I will make um, preparations to make a concrete slab, a foundation for my shed to build. Finally the weather uh, is improving. And uh, when the sun gets back from behind the cloud, it's even uh, nice and warm with the sun rays. So uh, yeah, what will we be doing today? Got some uh, steel here. We'll mark out the outer edges. I'm going to uh, measure out a square and then uh, I'll get a small line attach it to one of the yeah well one of those iron uh, rebars and then level it out it's a uh, yeah an afternoon process and then we can um, yeah prepare the, the box for to pour concrete so I hope uh, everything will succeed today and there's the Sun oh my oh my it's just January but really nice to be outside Let's start building the shed. So the very first step has been done. I cut all these uh, rebars in lengths of about three feet or one meter. Get them in the ground, that's a wire to it and make exactly 90 degrees corners to the outside parameters of my uh, shed where the yeah where the concrete base will should come but uh, you uh, see what i uh, what i mean all right so the first corner has been marked with a piece of rebar i'll get the uh, other side here and this is just a little bit of uh, educated guess. I think my uh, shed will end around this pole here. Maybe a little bit further, I'm not sure. I want to have my shed almost in line with the fence. The already existing fence. So um, if I continue that line of the fence, I'll be having, I think, the outside of my shed just passing this uh, other fence of the neighboring uh, yeah company it's a company so yeah I think I need to remove this piece of fence I made right you guys so off camera we uh, measured out the outside of the shed we got four 90 degrees squares and I'll get you later at that how I did that next step is leveling out this line so that the line is five centimeters above my ground so the shed will be five centimeters above ground so there will be no water inside the shed I'll be using a water uh, line for that all right so finally got the uh, outside lined out where the concrete will uh, come um, yeah I did not uh, record that because I didn't <laughs> was not sure what, uh, that I was succeeding in my job so I started out measuring from the old shed. So I had one steady point with a distance to that one. You can see there is a wooden beam from the shed towards this concrete pole. And I took the same distance from that beam over to there. So we got the same yeah, distance away of apart from the shed, the old shed. From there on, we calculated the depth of the new shed. It will be 10 feet, so that's that point. With uh, a couple of uh, things we now know, we know the, the length of this side, and I measured it at 3 meters from this. So we know this is 3 meters or 10 feet. We know that side is 3 meter 20, also around 10 feet. And we have a uh, corner of 90 degrees. So with those three uh, things known, we can measure the length from this over to this one. So we measured it out. So we know we had an uh, exact uh, 90 degree angle. Did the same over there. And over there, so that's how we uh, got a square. 
I remeasured everything and it uh, seems to be a uh, perfect. Hey, look the cat of the neighbors. Hey, oh yeah, kitty cat. And then it was time to get it leveled out. I got the lines attached now, the white line, and it's uh, exactly measured out five centimeters above my. Um, uh, hey, hey, oh yeah. Oh. It's a beautiful cat. <laughs> oh yeah. It's coming to look at my work. <laughs> and give me some love. I can use that. Got a little bit of headache. Could be of the, uh, the beers I dra drank yesterday, but <laughs> who knows. Um, yeah, so I got my uh, normal walkway. I wanted my shed 5 centimeters above it's about two inches above the the walkway so there will be no water inside the shed and how did i uh, level it out with a water line it's just a uh, hose filled with water of course and i've got this side and oh i was almost standing on it and i got this side and uh, whenever those are at exact the same height we can see they uh, cor uh, uh, have a correspondence in uh, height so I can, yeah, well they're not uh, leveled out now, but if they're uh, both exactly at, well we measured out uh, half a centimeter above the zero line, then we uh, would both have the same height, half a centimeter above the zero line like I said, then I knew I was on the correct height. So I measured that out with a small blue tape, so you can see the line. It's now everywhere on top of the blue tape. So, so I've got a correct height. I got the outsides lined out and it's getting late today. Got a little bit headache. It's Saturday so I think tomorrow it's Sunday I will continue building the shed. I will um, get some wooden boards along with the line and fix them in the ground with those uh, pre-made poles I made in a previous video. And then it's almost ready to pour some concrete. All right, so far. See you back tomorrow. All right, guys, small update. It's uh, day two, it's Sunday. And I said I had a little bit of headache yesterday. Well, turned out I uh, went half past five in uh, the afternoon to my bed with a headache. And yeah, I think I needed some uh, rest. So yeah, small update here. We're um, getting the boards in. Need to uh, make a couple of pieces at the right size but well, this is uh, yeah I, I think you can see what we're uh, aiming for what I also noticed is there is a lot of sand that still have to be removed but uh, we'll manage that so we're doing the uh, last pieces this is a board just placed so I got the, on each end one small pole this is the yeah. This is what I want to do. It's every 50 centimeters a small pole, so the pressure of the concrete is uh, yeah. It's got a little bit of support, so let's hope this will be enough. But yeah, it's going uh, pretty well right now. Boarding it up, so I'll uh, get back to you when everything is done. So small update. This is day three. I got the. Uh, the wooden boards installed all around and now I'm digging to a uh, level 15 centimeters uh, yeah uh, in the ground so we have a concrete slab of 15 centimeters so I'm halfway done right now uh, in eight days the concrete will be delivered so I have to get this level out maybe it's better visible from another angle so that piece over there still has to be uh, dug out and leveled out um, meanwhile, we will, when we are waiting for the concrete to arrive, at Wednesday next week, it's uh, currently is Wednesday, so exactly in a week, I have a day uh, off. I will cover this in plastics, laying some tiles everywhere, and then get the uh, rebar inside. And Thursday, the truck with the concrete will come. So, I think the next update will be putting in the, the plastics, and so it will be watertight so the concrete will not dry out too quickly 
when it comes in full contact with the ground it is not good so putting in the plastics and laying in the steel mats all right so it's uh, yet another day it's a beautiful day and tomorrow the concrete will be poured so i ordered some uh, rebar over there got a uh, roll of plastics we'll get it inside here so there will no uh, yeah there will no moisture be from the concrete getting in the ground and uh, as a bonus when the concrete has been poured we don't have a lot of water uh, getting inside the concrete so we have a pretty dry floor inside the shed so that's uh, the aim of the day getting the plastic foil in cover it with some stones get these mats in and then uh, we're ready to uh, pour some concrete that will be tomorrow so yeah let's get the plastics inside Alright, so the first half have been laid out. We'll flip over the other side. Uh, but first, I will uh, use a tacker to tack the foil to the uh, outside perimeter, the wood. Uh, yeah, I think this will be a quick and easy job. Alright, so this was a quick and easy jump. Now we will um, place some stones to lift up the rebar and then uh, yeah, place the rebar and then it's ready for today. Right, so the next step uh, will be well, first I will place the rebars that are uh, over there, and then under that I will uh, place some spacers, just regular bricks. I will uh, separate each brick in two pieces and lay that under the rebar so it will be a little bit uh, at a level and yeah I think pretty much in the middle of the concrete slab. So let's do it right now. I will cut it uh, to length. You see, we got a little uh, bit left. What I uh, will do first now is join these two uh, re rebars with each other with some steel wire.
All right, almost done here. Um, we'll put a little bit more of those uh, wires inside, uh, around, in between the uh, steel. And I think I need to wear some gloves because I'm pulling uh, quite hard to the uh, yeah, metal the wire and it's inside my finger right now. It doesn't look really pretty. See if you can get a better view of that. I felt it was a little bit uh, painful, but never thought it would be deep inside my hand. The other finger is a little bit better off. So, hmm, yeah. I will uh, wear some gloves. Alright, so the rebar has been uh, attached to uh, each other. There are a couple of things you should uh, keep in mind <coughs> when placing rebar. Never let it touch the edge of the, yeah, the pouring area because otherwise some rust will form <coughs> in the concrete and uh, the concrete will crumble. Uh, so uh, I have around 5 until 8 centimeters out of the edges of the box and yeah I have made a small overlap of one piece of each uh, rebar and yeah fix them together and the second thing you have to take into account that will be the next step place something under the rebar because you want to have the rebar a little bit lifted so it will be in the, yeah around the middle uh, the concrete slab so I'm going to uh, yeah cut these uh, stones in half and place them uh, on the rebar and tomorrow we'll pour the concrete. All right, we are going to laying some bricks under the tree bar. Let's do the rest. Good morning everybody, well for me it's uh, morning, it's uh, different than yesterday but this is uh, the day that the concrete will be poured and yeah I noticed my phone just died, got a lot of um, filming material and my battery just died but got everything ready, got two uh, wheelbarrows, got all the bricks laid out and the uh, rebar is uh, on top of that, got two uh, wooden planks to get the wheelbarrows in because if they are heavy I'm afraid they are going to get stuck between the stones and the uh, mazes of the rebar. Got a self-made tool. Oops, oops. Got a self-made tool to smooth out the concrete later on when it's poured. Um, for this project it's only 15 centimeters that's around yeah let's say five inches or something like that. Thick concrete slab. I have just a wooden stick to poke in it to remove some air bubbles. But yeah, within an hour or something the uh, concrete uh, mixer will uh, be standing here. And then we are uh, wheelbarrowing it in. So that will be the next step.
Okay, so the concrete pour has been done. Really uh, pleased with the end results. It's uh, pretty smooth, especially for a shed. And this will conclude the video. The next video will be probably building a frame. Uh, yeah, a wooden frame for the shed. This has to uh, dry for at least three days, 72 hours. And I'm waiting for uh, two doors to arrive. Then I can uh, start building the shed. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, update on the shed. It's coming along uh, pretty nice now. And I hope to see you uh, in the next video. And I hope to be back melding soon. See you in the next video. Bye bye.